uh, hello listener this is your student score booster tutorial online tutorial uh, class today we shall continue from where we stop on our series of lecture uh, regarding one of the important subjects for the student preparing for jam WIAC, gce sse neco and naptel uh, from our series of accounting lecture today shall be the lecture number three we uh, encourage you to listen to our previous two lectures on this particular subject so as to build the knowledge uh, based on our previous uh, presentation today we shall be looking at the one of the important uh, concepts in this subject that is the cash book uh, my name is Mutalib Anifawoshe and after today's uh, presentation we are expected to learn about the uh, the concept of the cash book most importantly to know how to prepare uh, the various cash book that are applicable or that are being found mostly in a business organization either small medium or big uh, we shall specifically explain the concept of the simple cash book double column cash book three column cash book and the petit cash book however before we start uh, giving you the principle and the procedure involved in this uh, uh, cash book uh, we will start by taking you through the elementary aspect of this so as to be able to monitor the nitty-gritty of this particular topics a uh, cash book can be defined remember this is not the first time we talk about cash book we have considered it severally in our previous uh, presentation and uh, today we are so specific about it and i also want us to follow us gradually as usual because we will take you through the past question at the same time trying to give you some uh, tips on how to handle this particular topic in your exams our cast book we said original uh, before as the only book of original entry is a book of original entry at the same time is in form of uh, a ledger so it serves as it serves two purposes here either we'll consider it as a book of original entry remember is a book or original entry is a book where we first record our transaction from the source book or source document as we could remember at the same time is a ledger there is a real account on itself it has a debit and credit side unlike other book of original entry that just a kind of a mere document or business paper uh, cash book serves as book of original entry at the same time in form of a, a ledger account and you can also refer to cash book as a, a book a book of prime entry that is book of original entry or it also form part of double entry principle because that is why it's a ledger account and uh, is, a, is a document or a, a, an account that bring together the cash and the bank account all together so when you hear the word cash book it's not a cash account let's take note of this at this point so that it will be more clear for us the cash book is different from cash account Cash account is a component of cash book because cash book made up of both cash and the bank uh, account in the same account. In the same account. So let's take note of that. Uh, cash book is very important not only to uh, a particular set of organization. For example, a whole trader or a super partnership must maintain the cash book of the company. Remember, in our accounting concept, we discussed in the, our first presentation that the entity concept indicate that the ownership of the business uh, is different from the business itself meaning that the company must maintain the separate account for the company itself and uh, it should take it separately from the uh, personal account so uh, at that point in time it's possible as you as an individual as a business owner 
to have its own personal account at the same time to have the business uh, account so it is not peculiar to any business either a small business a medium business a large business even a corporate business like all these big big companies that we have that are listed on the floor of nigeria stock exchange every company must maintain uh this account as we said it is not meant for big or small even if you are not a profit making organization you should also be able to 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 maintain your cash account without low the importance of this uh, it helps us to understand the cash in hand and cash at bank. You know, if you don't know the actual amount of money you have uh, with you in form of liquid cash, then you will not be able to carry out your transaction as expected. So it is on that basis that it is important at regular, I think, uh, at regular interval to have our cash account being updated, prepare it to up to date and be able to make a proper use of it. Uh, it also is so it help or it is easy to find out any fraud net activities inside the organization i it is easier for us to trace whether uh resources in form of money has missed in a company if you maintain cash account but if you don't have your cash book you will not be able to know even if your money is being uh, taken away by uh, unauthorized individual either in form of mismanagement or investment or stealing you may be able to know but by the time you have your cash book that have a component of cash the one you had in hand and the bank the one you had at the bank then you'll be able to uh, follow up trace and trying to protect your assets from being uh friendly uh, frontly uh, taken away or being embezzled or being mismanaged by the part of party even in that you it also provide you yourself in form of a financial discipline uh i i, I want you to, to 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 flex your opinion in this area especially the yx student whenever examiner asks you to explain the importance of cash book you can write as many as possible points and try to justify with example so that is the uh, basis of this particular uh, topic then from then we move straight to uh, the type of uh, cash book that we have. Uh, basically, when you talk about cash book, we are mostly uh, interested in these three type of cash book, and uh, it can be taken. It can be uh, opened by any of the company. However, the kind of cash book you are going to have also depend on the size of your activities. The size of activities the company is involved in we have small company we have a larger company we have a medium company they might not have the same cash book for example the first type of cash book is what we call simple cash book simple column cash book or simple cash book what's the meaning it's just a cash account this is just a cash account it doesn't have a bank component that is, it is being uh, open or used or maintained by a company, a very small company that doesn't relate with the bank. It doesn't relate with the banks and the, the scope of activities is too small. Everything they have is keeping in the company. There's no bank transaction when you operate a simple cash book or what we call a single column cash book. Let's take it again. A single column cash book does not require all the, 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 the does not require a bank account. You keep all you want to have in at home or in your company. You don't operate any cash account or any sorry any bank account. That is the a uh, single column uh, cash book. Then the second one is the two column cash book. This particular cash book has component of bank and. Uh, and the uh, cash component and the bank uh, component this is how it will look like uh, to just look at it probably uh, we, 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 we have uh, something like this we have um, this is the, uh, let's say this is the bank this is the cash then this particular that's detail here also uh, bank cash and the particular or detail as case may be then we have it why do we call it double? Because 
is a double column. It's a double column because it has a column for cash and column for bank. Column for cash and column for bank. At this point, it is important for us to appreciate what we are trying to discuss when we talk about cash book. When we bring the issue of bank now, what we are saying is this: when a, whenever a company start, uh, we start a business. This particular cash book is what you have in the company. You have it inside your own record in your company. The bank component, we also have the other leg in the bank you are operating. For example, if I have a bank account with GT Bank, inside the company I will have GT Bank record. Then the GT Bank also will have my record. So I'm talking about what we are discussing here is the one you have with you in your company, not the one you have in a bank. I hope it's clear. The one you have in a bank, bank will be taking care of that on your behalf. They will put your name there in their record. Whereas you are putting bank name in your own record in, in the premise of your company, in, in your premises. So with this, we can now compare this one, what you have with you uh, in, your, in your own record, with what bank have for you in the same account in their own record that's what we call bank reconciliation by the time we come to the next uh, presentation we shall discuss more detail on about bank reconciliation if there's any discrepancy between what you think you have in your bank and what bank have for you so at this point we are not talking about what you have in the bank we are talking about what you have in your own company are we okay i think it's taken care of so that we will not miss it up then the last type of the uh, cash book is what we call three column uh, cash book. Three column cash book is just a build on the double column uh, cash book. So the difference between these two is that this one creates a new column, three column. There is a two column cash book. Then we have the, 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 the other column here. We create a new, a new column both for the both sides of the account. We call this column a discount discount column we are going to have a discount uh, received and discount allow we shall discuss detail of this uh, as a subsequent as a move or as move order in this particular presentation but just understand that the main difference between the simple and the two column is that the simple uh, the simple cash book is just a cash book or cash account it doesn't require bank whereas the two column cash book as a column for bank uh, transaction we are uh, the, the, the difference between a uh, two column cash book and three column cash book is that the three column cash book has a discount column for the both side of the account whereas the two column cash book do not have a discount uh, a column and that's the uh, the difference between this examiner may ask us to discuss this in exam you may ask us to list and explain the three type of a uh, cash book we might ask her to explain the similarity the similarity is they are all dealing with cash either in form of the one we have at in hand at one in the bank that's the similarity they have but the two column is dealing with uh, mostly the the, the the both cash and bank where a simple column is only cash the three column cash book also deal with uh, discount now if we are to prepare a uh, cash book any of these cash book what are the documents involved what are those what are the source documents remember we have been talking about source documents this, we've discussed all documents previously what are the source documents to prepare our cash book you need pay in sleep remember your pay in sleep when you go to bank you want to deposit they give you a few of them you fill when you fill it they give you your own customer copy then you come home with it you file it in your in your, in your record that will, start, that will guide you to prepare your, uh, what do you call it, your uh, cash book. Then receipt. Receipt is the what, what you have when you make a cash chase. Remember we talk about invoice and receipt in that presentation we have. That the receipt is dealing with the cash chase, whereas the invoice deal with the credit says. I can still remember that. Then the check. When you collect check or you issue out check to somebody also, that also form part of the source document of this. Then the payment voucher. Whenever you make a payment, you raise a voucher, then automatically it also serves as the source document. Then the bank statement. Bank statement is, is applicable to uh, two column and three column. You cannot use bank statement in a simple column. Also, you cannot use 
uh pay in sleep here because pay in sleep since we don't maintain bank column here there's no need of pay in sleep and check also and bank statement and even counter uh counter uh, check counter fraud so these are the ones that are peculiar they will use as a source document that is if i'm to prepare my cash book adequately i might need to uh look forward for all these uh, uh documents now before we move further let's quickly look at the uh, what examiner uh, ask us to do especially this is uh uh wahek 2014 question number one the examiner just ask what is the cash book you need a bonus mark are you okay and then we are we are to state seven benefit of keeping accounting record in the business i think we have mentioned this in our previous presentation you can listen to our lecture too you can you know detail of what are the benefits of keeping account lot of benefits were discussed on that particular video we have, we encourage you to listen to that video and then if you have listened to it you can also revisit it also so that you can get more detail of it then the question number c of that particular of this particular question is list five source documents used in preparing a cash book i think we just explain them now you can even ask to explain what we are only asking here is to to list this particular uh, point and this is a bonus mark uh from here we move straight to the other concepts that we need to know before we come to how to prepare a cash book uh there are peculiar things we need to take note uh, in preparation of cash book the first thing is what we call folio uh folio is just a, a reference column uh in a cash book the, let me let, let me quickly take you uh, uh explain what i mean by folio if you look at the format of this uh cash book we might have uh, uh something like this let's say this is a two column cash book for example i have a bank cash uh i have then folio then i have particular something like this when i have date particular folio cash and bank also uh bank cash folio particular and the uh, date i will have the following we are going to see the, the this one later on but the folio here we've seen it before in the, when we are discussing the ledger so this is also a ledger so the folio is for reference you can see the column is used to identify the name of the other the, the, the ledger and the account where the corresponding part of the open entry has been entered Take note, we said cash book is a ledger, it's an account. So whenever you, and remember, based on what Luca Pasiolo uh, gave to us in, in 1494, that for every uh, debit entry, there must be corresponding credit entry. And for every credit entry, there must also be corresponding uh, debit entry. That's what we call double entry principle. So if I take this particular, the cash book as an account, whatever that i have in a cash book must also have the second entry somewhere else so to be able to know which area which account will be affected by the second the leg of transaction i will quickly look at the uh, what we call it the folio aspect this will guide even the auditor internal auditor or even external auditor to be able to verify whatever we have in a cash book and be able to uh, trace the account properly uh, the, you, you, the, you see a folio uh, speed up the process of finding the opposite entry in a ledger. Not only in cash book, you are not doing cash book in every ledger. You might need to have a folio. So I will, I will, I will hold just at this point that accounts at this level require ability of student, especially the YF student, to be able to know the format. If you miss a fundamental column in your cash book. You might not get the full marks and instead of getting your full these are the area you can get your full mark easy marks so why missing any point please let's manage to know the format of this so that we we'll able to get our full mark as uh, case may be uh, having discussed the folio we also need to look at the concept of the contra what we call contra entry a uh, contra entry uh, a transaction is, uh, that appear on both debit and credit side of an account is called contra entry we are going to see the concept here as we move ahead with example for instance if you transfer money from the cash account to the bank account within the same cash book you will record that money on debit side at the same time on credit side of the cash book 
with that we call this a contra entry now for example when the cash is taken out of the cash account and put in a bank account remember both are within the word cash book please cash book made up of cash account as i said and the bank account so when you take money from either cash or bank to the other side then you are doing what we call contra entry and in folio we recognize that we, we represent that with c i will put c here i also put c here so that will be the, 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 the way of tracing where the money is going to or where the money is coming uh, from. We shall make reference to that as we move on also. So the next thing we are going to discuss briefly is this of discount. Remember when we talk about three colon cash book, we talk about a discount. There are quite number, there are, now, there are many discounts that are pl applicable in a business. So we must be able to know, is it all the discount that we are recording in a cash book? Or is there a specific discount that will be recorded or accounted for in, in a cash book? So that's the purpose here. Now, we are told that there are two types of discount. At least at this level. Let's take it like this. We might have more than this, but let's take it as two types of uh, discount at this level. But we are told that only one kind of discount are enter in the double entry principle. I.e. is the only one of this discount that we will enter into cash book that is the what we are trying to uh, to say here because cash book is a, is a follow the double entry uh, procedure the first discount is trade discount trade discount these are discount given to company who trade in the same area or for a bulk buy i can have a trade discount from my supplier if i buy in bulk i can also give a trade discount to my customer if they buy from me in bulk so the trade discount is based on the quantity of goods sold or purchased so if i have if, if, if i buy let's say I, I i i i i i i i acquire a product or i bought a product in a very large unit I will get a trade discount. If also I have a customer who also give, uh, also buy in a large quantity from us, we also give a trade discount. So take note of this. This they are not recorded in double trade principle. Please, trade discount do not enter into cash book. We do not recognize or when I say we do not record trade discount in the cash book please take note of this very very important in the obj uh for your wife student also jam student neco student gc student these are one of the uh, uh important area that examiner usually play with student mind in exam please trade discount or we call quantity discount some people also call it quantity discount that is the discount that i receive from buying in large quantity will not enter into double entry principle we, we shall see the example as we move ahead also now the other discount is what we call cash discount cash discount the cash discount are discount giving for early settlement of an invoice remember what's an invoice invoice is by something is an evidence is a source document that indicate of what credit sales or credit uh, process we've done that in the last presentation please as i said we are building on the existing knowledge and we started from assuming that this is a zero level class where we want to develop the people's skill towards the knowledge of accounting so invoice if you're uh, your customer, or your debtor, settle the the, the, the outstanding uh, the, the debt in time or on time, you can give them discount. For example, you can you you can be a credit policy of a company that uh, if you pay us promptly, maybe cash says or cash says maybe five percent discount if you pay after two days 
three percent after one week one percent anything from two weeks zero percent what are you what are you trying to do you are trying to get your money back as quick as possible when you get your money back as quick as possible you can still cycle again buy the material produce and you produce more instead of tying your down money down with your debtor you can easily get your money with a little profit and continue your business instead of looking for which profit and the money is tied down with somebody else. So I think that is the reason why we have this uh, discount. Then the next thing is uh, the uh, they are giving to encourage early payment. I think we have discussed that. The card discount can be divided into two. Please, we have discount allowed. Discount allowed is when you give your customer or a debtor discount discount received is when you yourself receive a, call, a discount from your supplier you buy raw material from your supplier and you are giving discount it become a discount received the discount allow is the one you give out to uh, your customer so i think that is very very also important now let's quickly look at the format of this uh, a cash book this is uh, the simple colon cash book i don't have problem with that it's just a normal ledger just a normal ledger like any other account however for the two colon cash book this is how it looks like in a very standard one you can see the cash book is set out so that the, de the debit column for each card there will be the debit column this is a debit side this is a credit side of this account so it's now an account now i have for the cash and bank at the same time please in your exam don't put bank before cash cash will come before cash because you are cash is with you 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 have cash with you you will want you have to need to go to bank or you do online transaction with a bank but you don't need to do any online with your cash it's with you so that's why cash come because before bank if you exchange them in exam then you might not get the, 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 the mark for format with a bonus mark. Please take note of that. And then the follow the folio is just for you are, to, 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 tell, to tell us the, the corresponding entry. The detail is, is, the, is the name of the corresponding account of this particular uh, something. Then the date. Please always take note of date. Some people will be already in the exam, they will, they, will, they will not be able to follow this format. It's very simple. You don't need, just know one side. If you look at this from here to here, it's the same thing. You just come here and repeat the same, you know, and repeat the same thing here. Bank, bank, cash, cash, folio, folio, detail, detail, and the date, date. So if I were you, I would just understand one side. Once I know this one side properly, then I will repl replicate it on the other side. Let's quickly uh, go through one of the examples to explain how do we post this particular uh, uh, account. I uh, would like you to, to, to listen to look at this question and see whether you can make money out of it. Uh, complete the two column cash book for the following. Examiner wants us to complete. This question is frequently being asked in WAHEC. Please, I would like to say we can also look at your past question. You have quite a number of them in your WAHEC uh, exam. This is a two column cash book. You will not see in the two column cash book. I've told you, you you only deal, you are only dealing with the bank, and uh, and cash. There's no column for uh, discount. Now the on April, that's the first of April. We are told that the the balance brought down from the last month, cash, and the bank. Remember, these are assets to you. Bank here is an asset. Also, cash is an asset. This is a current asset we discussed it last time. Then we have uh, April second. You pay insurance by check. What happened to your cash at bank? It will reduce. Then, cash says you make a sales of six hundred naira. You also process by bank. And uh, this customer. Our pay us 4002 by check. We bought stationary 40 by cash. Then we pay uh, April. 
another, 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 another on April 7 we pay wages this amount on April 8 one of the customer also pay us 600 naira for good previously bought on credit then we also receive 2000 owing from the summer then we pay rent 300 naira by cash so this is our examiner we we give you you don't need to read this one two times in the exam please just understand the format and look at the corresponding account let's quickly look at the the solution of this now it's a two column cash book examiner might not even ask you to prepare a two column cash book. they only ask you to prepare a cash book but by me by me looking at the component of the question you have there's nothing like this can there's a bank and cash so you are talking about two column uh, cash book so that will guide us now on first we are we brought down we brought down this please take note if what we are brought down in the bank is overdraft od is possible then it will be on credit side on credit side overdraft will be on credit side our brother brother will be here that means that we are the one owning bank we have overdrawn our account so that will be a liability for us but here now if there is nothing like overdraft just a bank just assume that is a debit and an asset to us so please take note of that now there's no volume here because it's a brought down in folio no nothing will be written there now on second we pay insurance insurance will be in the general ledger we already have general ledger you can just see gl in the folio uh, sorry in the folio then insurance is second account so if i go to insurance account i will see the same amount of 2000 on debit side of insurance account now take note of this it will be here debit insurance account with what bank because the money is coming from bank 2000 so insurance account will be debited with bank then whereby the bank account will be credited so i have credited this account this is the credit side of this this is a debit so i can double trade principle so you'll be going gradually like this if examiner wants you to even show the corresponding account but remember if you are not asked to so the corresponding account please don't bother yourself because there won't be mark allocated or allotted to that particular uh, one so just prepare your cash book forget about the second leg but if you are asked to so all necessary posting then you might need to open those other ledger and do the do the corresponding uh, entry on third of uh March, we also have a sale. You can see, six orange bank or a car sales. You can see car sales here. So we are going to have a sales account and cash account. Okay, we process. We are going to have police account and bank account. That's what we are going to have here. On four, police account will be corresponding the second leg of the account on the fourth. So we are going to have. The, the figure will be will be inside the inside, it will be the second layer will be in our positive account are we okay then this person pay us when he pay us before it was a debtor account it will be in debtor account the name will be in debtor ledger we, i told you last time that we have three type of ledger debtor credit and general so this person is our debtor his name will be in debtor ledger so if you come go to the debtor ledger we are going to credit it because it's reducing what is owing us then is pay us back our money so we pay for this in centenary account we are going to have debit entry then this is a credit entry here in the cash book that's why we're having this so this also pay us in our debtor ledger also we are going to read we also we are going to less it then it become debit to bank account then we pay wages we are going to go to wages debit wages account and credit bank account here so they also we also have uh a sonar also pay us back our money here is also a debtor we also pay rent at the end we can balance the account please how do we balance the account you had what you have here together you also have what you have here together when you look at it this place is higher than this place so the balance is here likewise the other side also up to this point you add them together will you compare so this all this side um, uh, account for this there is a different between the, the difference between what I have here between this uh one two three and one two three four is this is this one 
So, so uh, this is our balance. So normally I can come here as a balance brought down. Under this I have five eight five. Under this I have eight nine eight nine zero. So this this account is what we, he has a debit balance. Please take note of that. He has a debit balance because the debit side is higher than the credit side at this point. So that is the uh, the concept here. I hope we understand the concept of these uh, analysis, and I believe it uh, it help us. We'll be able to appreciate what we are trying to to do. Now we move straight now to the other type of the uh, of the uh, cash book. This time around, we try to look at the uh, three column cash book. We don't need much problem here since we know the two column cash book. It's just for us to add a discount uh, column. And remember, we said the three column cash book incorporates additional uh, column here. And that column is for the for at each side of the account if we, get, we add a discount account a discount column please this discount they are not uh ledger per se let me put it in that way they are just a memorandum column the meaning is that you don't balance them against one another they are not balanced you, can, you, you cannot use any one of them to upset one another what because by the time you want to prepare a final account they will go into different places. For example, your discount allow will be an expense, where the discount receive will be an income. Are we okay? So, the, 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 and the places we, the, we are going to place them in a proper account, it's not the same places. One will be in trading, that one will be profit or loss. So, by the time we get to that place, we are going to see how we treat them eventually. But they are not part of double entry principle. Take note of this. They are not part of the operation principle. Examiner may also ask us to uh, explain the future of discount. They are memorandum column. They are not part of the operation principle, uh, principle, and they are they are, they are, they are, they, are, they, they, they are total and transfer to the discount allowed account or discount received account in the general uh, ledger. And discount column in the cash book and uh, memorandum column. I think we've we've mentioned that. At the end, they are taking care to the general uh, ledger. So let's take note of this. So that's the only difference between this and the uh, and the three column cash book. Uh, briefly, if you look at it, uh, what we have what, what we have what we have added to the last format we have is this discount allowed. Discount allowed is on uh, debit side. Why is it on debit side? One discount allowed is an expense, so it, it must have a debit balance. So it's another account was an expense. Discount receive is also an income so it's on credit side remember in our first presentation we have discussed what should be on debit what should be what should, what should have credit balance what which account we have uh, de uh, debit balance now that's the one justification of putting them also if you if you if you in exam you have forgotten what to do but if you customer want to pay you what where do you put the money you put the money on debit side then you are reducing what the customer should pay you that's why you are giving them discount allow then this discount allow also be on debit side if you are to pay your supplier if you pay them you credit your account so if you are to pay them you you credit your account the discount you receive from them should also be on credit so they they, they, they go in the same way with the main account so if that should be a, a way of remembering in the exam because some student in the exam what usually what we observe is they put discount receive here and they put discount allow here. Examiner will not mark it for you. In fact, whatever entry you put here will be cancelled. So please take note of this. And these are the area you miss important uh, uh, easy mark uh, point. Now, like uh, we can also look at this little example also to explain uh, this. I have the the enter the following transaction in a three column cash book of a William Buck. The balance on the cash book. And so the discount in the general ledger. That is what we are to are to are to do. We have the balance brought down, uh, brought forward. We have cases. All these debtor pay us. You know we have seen them before. We pay rent. We have uh, uh, we have uh, what do you call it? We also pay uh, what do you call it? Uh, check. 
then we 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 also have a discount remember we pay with our debtor pay all and they, they they take out discount of five percent from what they want to pay from what they are paying us they have removed this kind of five percent we also pay our creditor we also receive a discount of two percent from them so you can look at that then we transfer this amount transfer cash to bank this is a contra contra entry so my i will focus more on this on the discount treatment of discount and the on the transfer of the of the contra entry both positive and paying cash this one we don't have problem with this one now let's look at the first one if i have 460 if i have 460 for uh, 460 from uh, Jenny, for example, and I'm uh, um, to give him a discount of 5%, 5% discount, 460. If you look at that, 460 uh, multiplied by 0 0.05, it gives us 23. 23. So by then we come to discount, they will be discount allowed, 23 Naira. So like other one, so let, let let's quick let let's move to 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 the solution and so that you can appreciate it better. Now I believe we understand all other uh, component of these uh, uh, of these uh, what do call it question, except the two aspect I want to focus more. As I told you, my brought down they are the same with what we have done on that two column. This is the sales car sales we've had corresponding. Now journey four sixty less five percent five percent is what you can see 23 percent 23 naira this is a balance so the other one also pay us 20 or five percent this is a balance you can put it the other one also pay us like this so these are discount allowed total that is it's good to general ledger you see there then the other side also is two percent here so these are the two percent of individual from individual supplier that gave us this now we also have this there now if you look at the uh, item number seven here we we transfer five orange cash to bank that means that we move from cash to bank so bank is here is receiving so if bank is receiving our bank account we increase with debit is receiving from uh, from from uh, what do you call it from cash cash will reduce cash will be credited so you can see here a folio is contra 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 unlike the other one that's giving us the location of the other leg in the in the general uh, ledger or in a poesis ledger or in a debtor ledger as we have them here or state ledger here is contra that means that the whole transaction is still within the cash book. It doesn't have anything outside the cash book. That is the important thing we need to take note of at this uh, point. So that that's the the, 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 the the gist. And the discount we go to general ledger. Discount allow you see 96 is debit side here. And here is 26 and the two will be here. Here here we go. For now from for example now if I want to prepare my final account, I will take this one to P or L. Then 96, then this account will close. Then also, I will take the one to P or L also. Then 26 also, the account will close. But now we come to that level, we will explain. But this is how these two will, 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 will go. Now, before we round up this component, I'll give you this uh, tip for you to remember. Remember, if the balance brought down on the bank is credit, not debit, that's an overdraft. So it will be on credit, I told you at the beginning of this uh, presentation. Uh, also know that there's no way you can have a credit brought forward on on the cash account and there's no way your cash will have a credit balance because you cannot spend more than what you have with you i think it's very very important we take note of that the another thing we must also take note is this of discount trade discount do not appear in a cash book we have discussed that the card discount appear from both sides please both side and it's not necessarily for cash payment but prompt payment or early uh, payment those are the things we need to take note of on the cash book and I believe we understand it properly and any question we have uh, from there in the exam we can easily uh, take it now let's look at the 
most of these are multiple choice question especially the uh utme student in uh, 2012 utme question number nine examiner gave us this they gave us this in form of cash book and they want us to determine the bank balance what do we do here how do we determine balance i have cash book this one plus this one you get the total this one to this one you get the total which one is higher it seems this one is higher so you 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 you, you if the if debit side is higher than credit side, that's the debit balance. So automatically you can this one can never be your answer. Any one anything that have a credit balance can never be your uh, answer. Here you find out which of them is having debit balance. So you have either this probably maybe this also debit here debit. So either of these two. So you calculate the two and you get your answer. I think it's very simple. Likewise this one also. Um, question number uh, number nine and ten in two thousand and ten. The examiner gave us this cash book in OBJ in, in, in a jump question, and we are asked to uh, if they, they, they focus not on the entire entire what do you call it not on the entire cash book they just focus on the Fatima. Look at Fatima here. Fatima is our debtor. He has paid us two thousand naira. But examiner say if we if Fatima was granted a discount of 2%. That is, we are giving that Fatima cash discount, or what we call a cash discount. What will be discount allowed? What will be discount allowed? We don't have a column for discount allowed, but normally it's a three column cash book. They would supposed to provide the discount allowed. But since they want us to complete it ourselves, they didn't give us the column. That is, that is what we need to do. Now, Fatima is owing us how much? 2000 and he has paid. And now, say, if, please, if we have not given him, I'll give her, sorry. If we are giving out this particular amount, what will be the discount itself? The discount will be multiplied by 2%. Uh, I think which is 40. So the option is 20, 40, 64. I think the other is here. So this is a question you need to do without thinking. Please take note of that. And uh, in, the area, in this particular area, we find ourselves where we are talking about getting that money with points. You need higher point, yeah, and the point is about the the, the, the 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 number of score you have then calculate the cash balance after the discount so if you have given this person discount it does mean that here will not be 2000 again because the discount allow will be 40 the year will be what 1960 so if you have become 1960 examiner wants you to now determine the balance on this uh, cash discount that is comparing this plus this plus one n sixty plus two hundred then compare it with this one and be able to tell us which one what's different between the two which one is higher automatically this side will be higher if this side is higher what's different between this side and this side then you get your answer from this particular point so that is what uh we need to take note of at uh, this point um before we take into uh we take the other uh component this is uh imp which is impre uh, impress uh, cash book our petty cash book i will uh, i would like you to also go through most of this question we have here uh examiner say in 2009 card discount is often recorded uh the, we have the, we have four options here when you pick the correct answer you will automatically know because we have already uh so the correct answer you see card discount recorded both on the both side because it can be either discount allowed or discount received so the option is uh is there for you to, to 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 know then you also go to the other one uh this one also follow what we have just uh practiced now like that you also go to the other question they are all jump questions i think we have them for you just for you to practice what we have discussed uh, uh in our first uh, presentation here now to round up this presentation i will quickly take you through the concept of petty cash book a uh, petty cash book is a, a kind of uh, a, a kind of cash book that serves as a, a mining a, 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 a small cash book instead of putting all everything you want to buy in in the main cash book for example if i have a business and i know on daily basis we buy maybe one bag of pure water and uh, buy meat pie and buy some soft drink to you know these are things that we might buy at a regular interval and their amount is very small 
instead of creating putting everything to make cash bill to make make cash bill to become a little bit clumsy there is a the organization that divide a means of taking some uh of this a uh, small small immaterial amount out of the main cash book put them in the petty cash book and they uh, operate what we call an impress uh, a system a, a, a petty cash book is based on the a business of uh, a process of impress I'm, I'm going to discuss that later on with even giving you some little uh, uh diagram to be able to understand it better but a petty cash book is a, is a cash book operate to take care of some day-to-day -day, uh, uh regular expenses that might make our main cash book to become more uh, uh a kind of noisy organizing noisy or a, 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 a kind of uh, a look clumsy to avoid clumsiness of our main cash book and uh, how does the how does this one uh, uh operate is to look at the petty cash book as i said it's operate on the impress you operate on impress uh, format you must operate an impress we are going to explain the meaning and it, 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 it has a float paid in the beginning of each month every month you will be giving and then it record a small cash receipt and small cash payment uh, the main column are bank and cash receipt and payment analysis uh, we also have analysis column uh, used to group similar payments such as stationary and postage information from petty cash book is used to update the nominal or general ledger on monthly basis you can also use to update your main cash cash book as case may be but normally we take it to nominal ledger at the end of the day because most of these item are item of nominal ledger what we use petty cash book to do so let's quickly take an example of how the petty cash book operate and we have uh here yeah, we uh, we, are to, we have to record the transaction in the petty cash book of martin uh, martin limited uh, April for April 2012. The following column are heading you. We, they will be giving you the column. Examiner might give you the column in exam, or they may not give you the column. But by the time you see what they use the money for, you can you can as well on your own group them into similar item. For example, we have a cash at hand. That's the impress given to you at the beginning of the month. We will explain that one later. Then the stamp uh, voucher number one. Three naira, you have coffee voucher, one naira fifty cover. We have charity donation voucher. We have voucher number three, five naira. We have stamp uh, voucher also. We have one point eight naira, a uh, one naira eighty cover. So let's quickly look at how the format of this one. Don't this is how it is. You'll be giving uh, this amount at the beginning of the month. Then you buy. This item three naira, you know. How do you now put three naira in your main cash book? How do you put one naira fifty cover in your main cash book? How do you put uh five naira in your main cash book? All this one is very small. The other small small amount. So you you look the format is very very important. The debit side here is to own, is to receive the reimbursement you are going to have from the main cashier. Then the payment. Look at the date. With this date, detail, voucher number, then the cash. Then you give us the the the, the, the analysis of this. Amount. This is analysis side. You can see postage, canteen, and sundry. Examiner has given us this in the equation. But as I told you, you might not be giving. You can also look at the pattern of the spending. Then you determine what should be here. And uh, there should be that. There's no a kind of a fixed way of doing it here. You can easily um, just look at it and look and group them in a using a common term at a point in time. So at the end of the month, you have this balance with you. I will, okay, when you have this balance with you, you are spend this amount. At the end of the day, you spend the, the the this plus this plus this. You have this balance. So what we are going to do is that by the next time next month, you you will ask them, you will ask the main cashier to reimburse you to the tune of two or any other. They will give you what you have spent so far, so that at the beginning of the month, you also have what we have. Uh, the minimum five or in there, two or in there with you that's what we call impress system let's quickly look at this example here to explain the impress system you know this is an employee for example he will come to a cashier to take money the cashier will go to this is a petty cashier this is a main cashier who own the what the the, the the main cash book so the employee will complete the form 
I need more money. This one will give give out the money, then he will come here to, to, to reimburse his uh something. Those are this is how this particular uh, system is being operated. So with this, we come to the end of this particular lecture, and uh, I also take you through one of the uh, example in YEC exam in 2013 May June number one examiner uh, asked us to explain the following: explain impress system, petty cash, memorandum entry, memorandum and that's the remember your memorandum entry, the discount concept. The entry, three column cash book, then the journal proper, or we call general journal. Remember general journal? We discussed it previously. So you can you, you can also go through this item here as a function or as a as a way of uh, reminding you of uh, the, the, the this point. But I believe we've discussed them extensively pre, uh, in our previous presentation, or even in today's presentation. You can uh, look at the solution to this particular uh, item here. I hope you really appreciate what the examiner wants from you. However, if nobody will uh, expect you to memorize this. Just understand them, then write it in your own uh, words. So this, uh, this that brings us to the end of today's uh, uh, presentation, and uh, we would like you to watch out for our next uh, uh, class when we shall be discussing the concept of the trial balance and then look at the type of error and the treatment of error and the use of the suspect uh, account uh, we would like you uh, to subscribe to our youtube channel and uh, also to like and share our video with your uh, colleagues and you can also follow us on our whatsapp uh, number uh, if you have any question to be asked thank you till next time